but I just wanted to do a quick YouTube video on veganism, um, but more importantly, like, black veganism. So, um, I recently converted to becoming a vegan maybe like a month ago, and so far it's been, like, pretty good. It's not so hard doing it because I'm out in the Bay Area in California, so there's so many different, like, vegan restaurants or um, different stores where I can buy vegan produce and other, like, meat substitutes from. But I know it's harder for you guys, like, out in the middle of nowhere or whatever. But I thought I'd just do, I don't know, a quick tutorial maybe on how to do it. Um, I'm a college student, so I don't have, like, tons of money to spend on groceries, and I usually don't. Back when I was in college, my first year, I had a meal plan, and then while well, I refused to eat the meal plan anymore, um, I started to um, buy my own groceries from like Trader Joe's, and I worked at Whole Foods at the time, so but I never really bought from there because they're really expensive, even, even with a discount. Um, but yeah, so I only spend maybe like 30 maybe $30 a week on um, food, usually about 20 or so. But I wasn't really eating that well. I was vegetarian for about a year. Before that, I basically just ate chicken. My mom doesn't eat pork or beef. And I don't eat seafood because I think seafood's gross. <laughs> and um, so I basically just ate chicken and dairy, like a lot, a lot of dairy. Um, then I became vegetarian just for no reason. I just decided that I wanted to become vegetarian, come all natural or whatever. And like I stopped taking my birth control and I like, yeah, did whatever. And like, uh, Everything kind of like went haywire when I just kind of did that, but um, I stuck with vegetarianism because that wasn't the problem. Um, and then um, when I got to college, when I went to college, there was like a, a lot of um, black vegans, I guess. And so I was like, oh, okay, I thought it was going to be like really hard to do. And I'm like, oh, I can afford it or I won't be able to eat anything because I kind of hate vegetables. Um, and so then I was just like, okay, well, let me just try. And I tried it and it actually went really well. Um... I lost some weight, which I'm not really trying to lose weight. Like, I would like to lose weight, but I'm not really trying to lose weight because, like I said, like, I don't like vegetables, don't like working out. I like to live a nice sedentary lifestyle. Um, but, uh, so I did lose weight, and, like, my skin cleared up, but I couldn't maintain it. Like, I was just like, I can't do this forever. And so I went back to be eating, like, dairy. And then I realized that I'm probably, dairy, like, lactose intolerant. I read up on it, and apparently, like, that's not, um like strange for people of African or Asian descent to be lactose intolerant. So I was like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> and so I was just like, whatever, I'm still gonna eat cheese and milk. And then it just got harder and harder and harder. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, no more of that. Um, let's try veganism again. So basically I wanted to start by saying like, this is how come I became vegan. Like I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. Like I don't even have a degree. <laughs> so this is just my experiences. Um, what I've heard from other people who are older who've helped me out and um, just what works for me. So, okay, so I became vegan because um, I really like having control of my diet. I think I've always wanted to like move into veganism, like a plant-based, like healthy diet. And I know people who can like eat plant-based and healthy and include me. But I can't, like, I'll just be like, oh, yeah, I'll just eat, I'll just eat chicken forever, like, it's fine, chicken french fries, it's, it's good, it's whatever. And so then I became vegetarian, and I'll just, like, cheese, like, tons and tons of cheese. And then I finally went, like, okay, vegan, like, you have to eat, you have to eat plants, like, or you'll die. <laughs> so, um, I've, um, that's kind of why. Um, also, it just gives me an excuse to, like, um, like, I can kind of eat whatever I want, and so it helps me, like, not feel bad about, like, not working out or anything. So I just maintain my, um, like, body shape and, um, yeah, whatever. And another reason why was because I read that, like, it clears up your skin. And I, like, never had really any acne problems throughout high school. Like, in eighth grade, I had, like, kind of some grossness going on, and they just put me on uh, birth control, and everything was fine. And then senior year, when I got off of birth control, everything was terrible. <laughs> everything went really, really, really bad. And, um, like, I got back on birth control on antibiotics. Like, my doctor gave me, like, some sort of, like, ointment or whatever, and everything was fine. Calm down again. And then in college, I tried to use this different, like, face thing. I tried to do, like, the oil pulling thing, which, like, I saw a lot of, like, naturalistas do. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, my skin did not like that. And, like, my skin... Skin, like all here, 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 everywhere, terrible. My skin like got these like, it wasn't just like, oh, I'm allergic to this, like little like bumps, pimples, like, oh, it was the grossest, worst thing ever. It was terrible. And so I was just like freaking out and I went back home for winter break and I went to the dermatologist 
and nothing's better. Um, I used hydroquinone for like because I had acne scars. Um, I used they put me back on antibiotics. They put me I was back on birth control anyway. Um, I was using my regular facial cleanser that I used for the body shop, the tea tree oil ones. And I was using like all this crap and like my face was like, okay, calm down. And so I was like, maybe like it will like fully help so I don't have any more breakouts if I like start eating vegan. And actually that helped a lot. I started eating vegan and I started drinking a lot more water. And like everyone's like, oh my God, like your skin looks so good. And like my skin's not even perfect. Like I'm wearing makeup right now. And like my skin's not perfect by any means. Like I still have some acne scar on my forehead and like um, some, a little bit on my cheeks. Not really on my um, jaw anymore. Um... But, like, I've just gotten so many compliments and just from, like, being a month vegan. And so, I'm like, okay, great. I'm going to stick with it. Um, what I, where I buy to eat, because I'm a cheapo, like, in every, like, I spend money on clothes. And, like, that's it. Like, I don't spend money on anything else. Um, so, what I eat, I, I usually shop at Trader Joe's or there's, like, this cute little Asian market produce place that has, like, cheap produce. And I shop there. Um, so, I'll get, when I'm shopping, I usually shop for about two weeks. So I get, um, for my greenery, I get, like, spinach mix, because I don't like chopping up things, so I just get, um, it already in the bag, like, spinach or salad mix. Um, and then for, like, my fruits, I usually get fresh fruits from the Asian market, or fresh market, because they have it, like, every Saturday here. Or I get, fro usually, and, I get frozen fruit from Trade Joe's, because Trade Joe's frozen fruit is, like, super good. I use it for smoothies. Um, uh, I have smoothies for breakfast, usually. Um, for dinner... I like have brown rice, um, I have tofu, even though I'm not really a fan of tofu, I'm trying to like get because I need more protein. Um, so I have the tofu, I get like a little salad and like brown rice, um, also like lentils, like um, black eyed peas, black beans, um, I get those usually like in like they have little packets or they just have them dry which are way cheaper which I usually get. Um, and as well as soups, if I'm just feeling particularly lazy, I can just like nuke some soup and it's like, it's good. It's um, usually uh, minestrone, is that how you pronounce it? The, yeah, minestrone soup or carrot soup or whatever and just put that in the microwave or put it on the stove and like that's dinner. Um, so usually what I eat is like um, a smoothie for breakfast. Where I work, we get like one free thing, but they're not really vegan friendly. So usually I get like a bagel or like some hash browns which are not healthy, but like, okay. So I get a bagel and I have like um, vegan butter at home, so I have that for lunch. And then for dinner, I might splurge and get a, like a falafel sandwich. I go, there's this Israeli store, the bomb is falafel sandwich is so good. Oh my goodness, like they have like the pita bread and like the green stuff and like the falafels and the, the like the cucumber sauce. So, so, so good. So I might get that <laughs> or um, if I'm too lazy to drive over there, cause like I, like I go there like a lot. But if I'm too lazy to drive over there, then I'll just get, um, I'll have brown rice with, um, some spinach and, like, to top it off with, like, some beans or something. And that's pretty much what I eat, um, for snacks. Like, I have fruit or, like, uh, my auntie Cynthia, she has, like, these little nut things. Like, I'll eat, like, nuts, like, almonds. And that's pretty much it. Like, it's really simple. Like, it's not hard to eat vegan. Like, it's really not. Unless, of course, like, you're living in, like, um. A home where people actually cook like my mom doesn't cook um she used to cook when i was younger when i came to the chair and she was like okay like you're on your own and then when i'm vegan she's like definitely like i'm not doing anything so like but i love my mom you know she did everything else she's just not really a fan of cooking um so i know in a lot of black homes like the matriarch either like your grandma or your mom like they like throw down like especially on like weekends especially like on after sundays and so that might be harder but like um if, like, we have, like, okay, so beans, like, you can just ask them, like, oh, like, can you, like, when you just have, like, your beans and, like, your rice and, like, um, your cornbread, like, you can ask them, I don't know if cornbread's made with eggs or milk, they can just ask them to substitute, like, the milk for something else, because almond milk actually tastes better than regular milk, and it's better for you, like, just, like, small changes, and actually, it's not too hard to eat, like, like, the traditional, like, African-American, like, diet, or, like, Afro-Caribbean, like, I know a lot of Caribbean places that have, like, tofu or whatever substitute and it tastes so good like or the vegetable curry like it's good like and it, it works with the spices it actually tastes better than like the normal vegan food and it's better for you than like the normal like african american or african caribbean food um let's see what's another problem i know some people live in food deserts which is a real problem in um north america i don't know about in the rest of the world um so i understand like i'm not being able to get to places a lot of times, if you live in a food desert, there'll be, like, that one, like, corner store or whatever. And if 
they know that you can't get anywhere else, they know that you can't like drive far away, then you kind of like have to like work with them and they like crank up the prices of produce. Like I understand, like that's very expensive. And when that, in those instances, like I'm not trying to convert the whole world to veganism, like that's not really realistic or helpful, you know? Um, but like, um, it would be good if more people ate vegan because then I think it will like make the meat industry like decrease. Like a lot of things, like we're like feeding like cows and like pigs and like whatever, like grains to sustain them when there are people starving. Like they could like literally give all those things that they're using to um, like bring up cow and then slaughter them. Like you can, we can eat those. Like human beings can eat those. Like people who are starving in the United States could eat those instead of feeding them to a cow and then like cranking up the price of how much you want to like charge for that cow, you know? Um, but like, yeah, if you live in like food deserts, like it's not easy if there's fresh markets around, which often they're not, then like there's not too much that you can do. But I know like DC and like other large cities with like usually large populations of minorities, um, they're trying to put like um, sustainable gardening, um, especially in DC, like I've seen like over by uh, my school, there's like this like just random, like it's like a random garden and like they grow up their own food people in the community grow up their own food and then they eat them and it's great and it's it's nice and it's cheap and like it's good for ch children to like learn like where their food comes from like how to make their own food and it's also good for like adults because it's cheaper than having to go out and buy it from Walmart where they're going to pay like twice as much you know for like half the quality um so yeah um another thing is I know it's hard to kind of convince like your friends and family members to like get behind the move but I think that um like black people are like becoming more progressive, like people are becoming more progressive, like especially like a lot of the illnesses that plague my family, I don't know about like other people's, but like commonly like black illnesses are like um, like hypertension or diabetes or high blood um, pressure or et cetera, et cetera. And it would be like, those would kind of be eradicated if people have like a plant-based diet and they eat fruits instead of like processed sugars because your body does process fruits differently than they process like natural sugars differently than they process processed sugars because they're actually familiar with natural sugars so that's something to take into account like if you like do your research it's actually better for you to eat like vegan so hopefully this video helped i don't really have any other points if anyone has any questions definitely let me know um again like i'm not I'm not a professional or anything like I don't even have a degree it's just like what I've learned from reading and also different people on YouTube are helpful it's very important like to do your own research not follow like blindly people you know what they have to say but um hopefully this is like a nice affordable way for you to like try and like just try it out like just try like that's all I say like just try it like it's it's easy try it and like you'll probably like lose weight you'll feel better you'll feel like less heavy like you your stomach won't be like processing like your steak for like a week like You'll be more refreshed, you'll be happier, you can be more active, you'll sleep better. Like, I've had, like, the best sleep since I became vegan. Like, it also might have to do with the fact that I'm not in school. But, yeah. Anyway, have a great day.